The new type of fascism that we're seeing right now, the message is anti-SJW and anti-Muslim. That is the new type of fascism. It's also anti-Marxist, and there are some elements to it that are still the 1940s definition of fascism. The SJWs have a lot more in common with the Jews of the 1940s than they do the fascists of the 1940s. Their message is to try to be inclusive, whether or not you like their methods of talking about it, you know, whatever. But the message is about inclusiveness. Uh, the message is supposed to be about tolerance, though there are some that obviously haven't been shoving forth things that are very tolerant. There are some that are shoving forth a, a rather anti-white type of message. An anti-whatever-it-is-that-represents-power message, right? Though I must admit to understanding that viewpoint as well, I don't agree with it, but I understand it. And it's because the people with the largest demographic seem to be the ones that understand the least the kinds of things that other demographics are going through. Or maybe you understand it but you don't care. I don't exactly know. It can be frustrating for people. But it's still wrong to judge another demographic, white people, on that sort of thing. Again, I understand it. I don't agree with it. There are obviously a lot of very misguided people. Something I've stated for many, many, many years, at least a couple decades, is that it is a ridiculous notion to state that to be intolerant of intolerance is the same thing as being intolerant of anything else, like race or, or gender or sexual orientation or whatever. That it's a ridiculous notion to claim that to be intolerant of intolerance is the same thing as being intolerant of anything else. And yet, that is one of the common narratives used against those who are trying to speak against this new type of fascism. If you want to try to stop fascism, well, that's fascist. Because you're trying to use some sort of silence techniques. Well, these silence, these silence techniques that do include things like shaming have kept us peaceful for a very long time. Even if, even if people weren't claiming that it, to speak against this stuff is fake news or just make someone an SJW or a cuck or whatever, even if that wasn't going on, there isn't really anything you can say against that kind of bigotry that we're seeing right now. You can't, like, Let's just say there's someone who really is, who, who says, who even says that they're racist, which is rare. Most people who are racist don't say they're racist, but somehow there's this argument that, well, if someone says they're not racist, then they're not racist. Oh, that's interesting. Um, just like a Christian saying that uh, if they say that, uh, well, you're going to burn in hell for eternity for being gay, but I don't hate gay people. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So, if there is someone who is blatantly racist and states that they're racist, do you honestly think there's anything that you can tell that racist person that will suddenly make them not racist? So, what do you do if that kind of mindset that that racist has spreads? What do you do? What do you do to stop it from spreading? There's, there's nothing you can state to stop it from spreading. There's nothing you can state that will, that will stop anyone from believing that sort of thing. Well, just use logic and reason. That doesn't work. We learned it from history that doesn't work. That's why we've made some of the decisions we have. That's why we've had some of the laws we've had. That's why we've had so many of the narratives that we've had. Because we know that doesn't work against this type of thing. In fact, the, the, the only thing that eventually stops this besides the shaming techniques that have been used for so long, um, are when something awful happens. Should, should millions of people die 
So the new type of fascism can say, we, people in it can go, oh, I guess this wasn't such a good idea. Is that what's required? Let's be clear about something, okay? Fascists aren't the ones that riot in the streets against the government. Fascists are the ones that try to, they will infiltrate the government and try to infiltrate a bunch of elements of our society. Fascism will try to demonize media and silence media. See, what drives me nuts about this is many of you are saying that, oh, uh, Trump, you're, you're happy that, that, that Trump is doing what he says he will do. And I'm like, yeah, but look at all the things he says he'll do. Look at his plans. It's all blatant. It's all right there. And you're just like, well, we'll, we'll wait till something bad happens and then we'll react. Some of you are just essentially telling people that are seeing this upcoming fascism. You're basically telling people, well, you need to just imitate the, imitate the Jews of, of World War II. Just imitate the Jews. Just be passive, don't say anything, and just let the bad stuff happen. And uh, we'll, we'll state something bad about the bad things when, when they happen. Yeah, when it's too late. You're essentially just saying, oh, we want to wait till it's too late because we don't want to think about what's going on here. Trump's cabinet picks are pretty significant. Trump essentially wants to replace the government. He wants to demonize and silence media that says anything against uh, his plans. You speak negatively about his plans, well, you're fake news. This is the leader of arguably the most powerful country in the world stating this. And we're not supposed to be concerned. We're not supposed to be concerned about his plans. We're not supposed to be concerned about some of the largest groups that give, Trump's, give, give Trump the most support. We're not supposed to be concerned about that. Felfop was, was in comments was trying to say, well, you know, the prob the... Well, are you trying to say that the uh, uh, the the problem that people had with uh, uh, with fascists of the of the forties? Uh, uh, are you trying to say that it's that it's all about mindset? The mindset wasn't the thing; it was the violence. And I'm like, that violence wouldn't have occurred if it wouldn't have been for the mindset. The reasons for the violence being carried out is extremely important. If those mindsets weren't shared by people, that violence wouldn't have occurred. You're going to compare individual people rioting against fascist elements coming into the government with government-approved fascism killing people? You're going to compare speaking against fascism in the government and people destroying property with the Nazis killing Jews. Unfucking believable. Violence does not equal fascism. Get that through your head. To those of you sticking your fingers in your ears and going, la 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 la, I see no fascism here. The only fascism are the people rioting against the government. If Trump continues this his the plans that we can blatantly see what his plans are he's laid everything out already if trump continues his plans he replaces the government and we have absolutely horrendous things happening because of what trump is doing i'm not going to have any sympathy for you if you later go oh but i i didn't know i didn't know that's what was happening i didn't know I'm not going to have any sympathy for you. Just like people didn't have sympathy, rightly so, did not have sympathy towards the Germans who said the same thing. Oh, I didn't know. Right now, people trying to speak against what's going on are not being listened to.
yeah, people can have their say, but nobody's listening because they're automatically labeled, oh, well, you're an SJW, or you're a cuck, or you're spewing fake news. Once that ends up being the narrative to the opposition, violence, rioting, all that, that may not be the best answer, but that's what's going to occur. And again, to compare the destruction of property with killing six million Jews, yeah, fuck you. That's an insane argument, okay? Now, I still try to say, hey, let's not be the bad guys, okay? Let's try to not be the bad guys. Let's do everything we can to not use violence as the means, especially not violence against people. If violence must be used, then, you know, destroy property. Don't, don't hurt people. I'm not saying people should go out and destroy property. It should be the last resort. The rioting should be last resort. But unfortunately, right now it looks like we're at that last resort. And if people, and if that ends up becoming silenced, if people can't even speak up at that point, what is our country going to be? And are you going to support the destruction of freedom of speech in order to stop the people from rioting? Fascist policies to stop people from protesting against fascism. That's some crazy shit, let me tell you. that. That's some really crazy shit. I'll say what I said in the beginning of this video. The new fascism is anti-SJW and anti-Muslim. The anti-Muslim part, I, I have a bit of an understanding of. I, I, can, I can get it. I don't agree with it, but I at least get it. The anti-SJW thing, the only time that I can get that is, is when you're referring to people who say, uh, oh, fuck white people. Or people who are trying to shove forth guilt onto anyone who doesn't think that biological sex is a social construct. Okay, I, I understand uh, being upset with people who do that. I understand being upset with people, you know, going back to the Muslim thing, I understand being upset with people who don't argue against uh, Islamic terrorism. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. But that's not a reason to to demonize everyone who happens to fit into, you know, someone who promotes social justice it's not an excuse to, to demonize everyone who happens to be Muslim. Because there are plenty of peaceful Muslims out there. Especially the ones who don't really pay that much attention to their religious book. You could say, well, then they're not really Muslim. Well, you know, I guess technically you could say that. But technically, most of the people that call themselves Christian in this country aren't really Christian in that regard then. Well, you know, technically... Oh, okay... I'll state one more time. Violence does not equal fascism. There is a mindset that equals fascism. And that mindset is spreading. How do we stop it? You can't tell me through logical logic and reason because that doesn't do any good towards bigoted views. Just like it doesn't do any good towards the people that say white people are the problem. Yeah, there's no logical reason you can state against those people either. We are certainly living in interesting times.